A family believes the body of a woman found in Sunland Park last week is that of their loved one who crossed the border. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us in the newsroom tonight. And Shelby, what is the family telling you? Andy, the sister says she last heard from her sister last Tuesday and has reason to believe she died in the desert in Sunland Park, questioning why she was left behind by the group she crossed with. The only thing I know is that she didn't want to continue. That's what they told her boyfriend. She stayed back because she was tired and she told him to come back for her. This woman, Elsie Perez, says she believes the body found in the desert in Sunland Park on Friday could be her sister, sharing a photo of her sister the day she crossed the border. Perez says she hasn't heard from her sister since a week ago and was sent a location of the area where the body was found that supposedly came from the people she was crossing with. There's no other explanation as to why they would leave her alone and that no one stayed with her. They all said that she didn't want any help, but I don't believe that. Sunland Park police say the body was in the desert for approximately five days before it was discovered, and due to decomposition, they were unable to positively ID the person. But in the photo of Perez's sister, she is wearing a jacket, and the man who found the body and contacted law enforcement says the woman in the desert was also wearing a jacket. Like that girl, she had a, a jacket on. I don't know why she had a jacket on and, and, and another jacket you know, for her head. But... um. It's too hot. Why are you wearing a jacket? Sunland Park police say a Mexican identification card was found and the family sent a friend to the morgue to try and see if it was Perez's sister. A friend who lives in El Paso went to the morgue and they had found a body with a different name and not her name, but with my sister's description. And the Sunland Park police say they are working with the Mexican consulate to identify the body of the woman they say was between 20 to 30 years old and that the cause of death is unknown pending an autopsy. Andy? Yeah, Shelby, real quick, if I remember correctly, this isn't the only body that's been discovered in the Sunland Park area, at least recently. What are officials saying? Yeah, the Sunland Park Fire Department had posted on Twitter actually prior to this body being discovered that they had already conducted four body recoveries in just one week and were assisted by Border Patrol. All right, Shelby Cap reporting live in our newsroom tonight. Shelby, thank you.